Hi, hey everyone. Um, there's been a big change in MLS with statuses and how we actually change our listings. I've had a lot of questions about this, so I thought I'd make a video for you. Um, if you need to change a listing from active to active under contract and then into pending, here's how you do, how you do it. Um, go to change listing. And I use that as a favorite on my screen. I'm going to decrease this so more of the information shows up on the screen. I'm going to go to my listing and down here it says edit current status. So the current status is active. If I wanted to change that status, I change it here. But the challenge really becomes what if I want to pen that listing or make it under contract? Um, I get the I give you the under contract date and here's what everyone is um, asking me. When we want to change from active under contract to pending, the verbiage that they use is no contingency. So when you, after you have a contract and the contract goes into attorney review, then you change the status to active slash under contract. Once attorney review is concluded and they have removed the contingency of attorney review, then you change the status to no contingency and it immediately changes it to a P as pending when you look at the listing detail. So I know the language is different. It's been uh, tripping up a lot of us. So I just want to make sure that we're all in, a, we all understand what you need to do when you change the listing. So that's the language they're using. Um, active then goes to active under contract while you're in attorney review after it's out of review, then it goes to pending, which in the MLS states no contingency. I hope this helps. Thanks.